Changes in muscle length and therefore the position of the body part being moved by that muscle are detected by stretch receptors in intrafusal muscle fibers. In this case, the impulse arising from stimulation of muscle spindles travels via the first order neuron from the soleus muscle through nerves in the leg to reach the spinal cord via the lumbosacral plexus. The impulse is carried by the first order neuron into the spinal cord via the dorsal root where it then enters fasciculus gracilis. The axon of the first order neuron ascends for a number of segments before terminating in Clark's column. Second order neurons arising in Clark's column enter the ipsilateral dorsal spinocerebellar tract. The second order neuron continues to carry the impulse up towards the medulla via the dorsal spinocerebellar tract. From the medulla, the axon of the second order neuron enters the ipsilateral cerebellum through the inferior cerebellar peduncle and carries the impulse to an appropriate area of the cerebellar cortex.